Jackie, you got any other points? Yeah. yeah. In my district, they're panicking. So my district is the second largest manufacturing district in the country. We're the RV Hall of Fame. We are the RV center of the universe. We make produce record numbers right now. And almost every, probably thousands of companies make those little widgets that go inside those big RVs. And I'll tell you what, they're terrified. The minute that even the, the concept, when President Biden talked about we might be thinking about a mandate, my phone filled up with small business owners that were terrified, literally saying that I lose 50% of my workers tomorrow. What am I going to do? How are we going to do X, Y, Z? And that's exactly what's happening. You know, I look at, I've seen both Secretary Buttigieg, who is from my area in my district, and I look at the president, sent him a letter, and basically said, you know, you know what this looks like. And I've seen them both on stage in a cavalier attitude, shrugging their shoulders and making a joke about Christmas. This isn't Christmas. And when, when my district and those drivers and those people that are buried right now with orders and their parts are sitting out there in the Pacific Ocean, don't think it's funny. Because the pain transfers all the way through my district to my geographic area, which is Indianapolis, Detroit, and Chicago. And that just keeps rippling through. My district doesn't trust this government. The decisions they, they have made have not been good for my district in manufacturing. That trickle down in my district is horrific. We can go from the top of the world to the bottom of the barrel here in no time because we're so big. And, you know, my district's looking for hope. My district's looking that we take the House back next November and that we have a, a speaker in Kevin McCarthy and we do what we say we're going to do. We're going to repeal, we're going to rebuild the country, and we're going to include the American worker at the, at the absolute top of the top and not the bottom of the bottom. I've never seen what's going on right now and the fear that's in the American worker because they feel like the whole country turned on them and obviously the Biden administration has led the way.